Hey there folks, it's Antar, and I am back with Team Satan. Yeah, okay, so it's my Anger Point Tauros team, and I'm not saying that it's unbeatable, I'm not saying that it's even particularly good, I'm not saying that if I took the BGC 2012 that I'd even have a shot at winning, but what I am saying is that if your team is unprepared for it, it will cut through your team like a hot knife through butter. So my opponent today is Pollard to Pie, we're doing this triples style, just to try to see, you know, how this team does in triples. So my third lead here is going to be Gardevoir because I'm going to want that heal pulsing, especially in triples where all three of my Pokemon, all, all three of my opponent's Pokemon could in theory gang up on Tauros. As you see, my Gardevoir has Technician, which is probably its least uh, nice ability in triples, but uh, I don't want to rebreed it, especially considering that uh, its new ability, Telepathy, is not going to really help it on this team since I don't have attacks like Earthquake on my side, nor, and I would have to lose out on Heal Belt. So anyway, Shadow Ball is not going to take out Snegorochka in one hit, but it is going to get it pretty darn close. Uh, Maxwell is flinched, so it's not going to be doing anything this turn, but I am going to be able to recover it back to almost full HP thanks to that Heal Pulse. So, yeah, Gardevoir is just awesome to have on this team. His Jenny, his Walrein, has the Ice Gem, and is going to get off a Blizzard. It's going to hit all three of my Pokemon, is going to take out Snegorochka, and is going to come very close to torpedoing my entire strategy by taking out Maxwell as well. But Maxwell survives with just a sliver of HP, and I'm really, really glad that I was able to set up that Heal Pulse. So now I'm going to send out my Spirit Tomb, nicknamed Portia, because it kind of looks like uh, the Stargate or something. I don't know, it looks like a portal to another dimension, so Portia's kind of a play on that. I go for the Shadow Sneak against uh, his Drifflim. Not really sure why I did that, it didn't really do very much damage, but going to go ahead and go for the Rock Slide here. Going to hit all three of his Pokémon, and I'm going to KO all three of his Pokémon. So yeah, Maxwell is making up for lost time. Three KOs in one hit. That is hella, hella impressive. So now I'm just going to wait for the battle to catch up with my narration. Lots of KOs to account for. Leda is going to go ahead and go for the, another heal pulse, get Maxwell back up to 50% HP. And I am really glad that I go, went for the Lumberry and not the Life Orb uh, on my Tauros. So yeah. Now my opponent is down to his last three Pokemon, and those are Roast Beef, his Bofalant, uh, what is that thing? That is a Jumpluff, and then his Grumpig, uh, his uh, Jumpluff, which is one of the few Pokemon that's going to outspeed my own Pokemon, is going to manage to get off that sh uh, Stun Spore, it doesn't matter, I've got the Lumberry, so all he's done is waste a turn. I'm going to go ahead and go for the plus six Rock Slide which amazingly is actually not going to take out a single one of his Pokemon. I was quite impressed there, but his, uh, let's see, it was super effective against one of them who has the life, uh, who has the Focus Sash, so that's why I didn't get a KO there. But anyway, Maxwell is going to be back up to full HP after this Heal Pulse. And I think uh, Portia is going to go for the um, Psych up this turn just to get its attack up to maximum as well. So Maxwell is going to get confused, and that is less than fortunate. Gonna get hit by a head smash. I think I'm gonna survive. Uh, and indeed I do with just a little bit of HP. Uh, his, his roast beef is gonna take some recoil. Is not gonna die though. Gonna go for the psych up here. Gonna, uh, now I'm gonna have two Pokemon who have max attack. And that is really quite nice. Now that someone else has max attack, I'm going to go ahead and pull out Maxwell and I'm going to send out my Volcarona, which isn't going to do anything in this match. It's the one Pokemon on this team who is OU in a single sense. But again, I don't really believe in tiers for doubles because tiers were designed for singles. Shadow Sneak is going to take out his Grumpig. Uh, I'm going to get put to sleep by his Roast Beef, uh, sorry, not by his Roast Beef, by his, whatchamacallit, Jumpluff. Meanwhile, I'm going to go for the stored power here, be even though I'm at, um, I'm not having had any stats boosted, so it really isn't going to do anything. But he does have life orb, and that is going to deal some recoil, and that is going to take him out. Lily survives thanks to her focus sash, and roast beef is going to die this turn. So now there's only one Pokemon left. It is that stupid, stupid jump bluff. Portia is unfortunately asleep. It's not going to wake up this turn. 
and he's just going to sacrifice his Pokemon using Memento and just end the battle right then and there. So great game, Polar to Pie. My team is really, really satanic. I've really got to say, whatever. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, folks. That was kind of epic. So long.